Hi and welcome to this Studio One tip on how to use a built-in microphone with a MacBook in Studio One. And this is a little bit different because I don't have my normal uh, voiceover mic set up going today. So I'm just using the laptop directly. And I'm actually using the built-in mic in the laptop. So I hope you can uh, hear all right. All right, so this, com this uh, question comes up sometimes about how to use the built-in microphone in Studio One. And to do that, you need to do an aggregate device. So I'm going to show how this works. First, you go to the spotlight and type in audio MIDI, MIDI setup. And that'll pull up the audio MIDI setup utility. And then from here, we need to add an aggregate device. And we're only going to add the built-in mic and the output to this device. So I click plus at the lower part, and I'm typing in a name, which I'm just going to call the built-in mic setup so we can easily see this in Studio One and hit enter. I double click there, you can just enter on there and then we're selecting the built-in microphone and the built-in output. That's all we really need to do here and then we can close out of the audio MIDI setup and then launch Studio One. You want to do that with Studio One closed, at least I think so. So I've got a sample project here. I'm going to go into preference and, and choose the built-in mic setup that I just set up. That's all you need to do there. And then of course we need to go into song setup. And I'm just going to delete what I had here before and then add a mono input for the mic. And you need to, I'll just call it mic. You need to select the input if you want it mono. You need to select it right there and apply that. And now if we go back in and add a track, we should be able to see that built-in microphone. So we're going to add a mono track. And let's see, we'll just call this mic. That should be good enough. And we'll engage uh, recording. And there's the built-in mic. Now you have to be careful. You need to have headphones or something hooked up or you'll get horrible feedback at this stage with the built-in mic. So let's also just try quickly recording with the built-in mic. And all we need to do is hit record. And then anything that we say should be automatically recorded here. And you can see that that worked. So that's how you do it. That's how you use the built-in mic with a MacBook Pro. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next video.